point. Evangelisti, that's his spot. Right circle, Nolan going down, staying with him. Evangelisti, down low for Harkins, a shot, and score! Tyler Harkins from a bad angle, 1-0 Ohio, 7.28 into the first period. He caught Barnhart leading. It's the home team scoring on the power play to get us started. That's a great shot there. Right off Barnhart's head into the top corner. That's tough to see for Jake early on in the power play, but the line are looking to get back after it here. It looks like the fourth line is going to bring some energy back as they come following the goal. Front and a spin around try from Novacell. He missed. Kandati, tight angle, off the pad, out in front. And gloved down by Candy once more. And a rebound try, save made, and in! Mark Kandati, the Bobcat Slayer, tie game! 1-1, 2.15 left in the first period. That's a great effort by Mark Kandati. The man who had the game winner last year when the Illini were down to 16 skaters on the bench. He gets it done again. A great effort. Some puck luck there with pucks bouncing off skates. That's a very lucky goal by Mark, but we love to see it. Four. Now out to the middle, Rittendale. Nice pass, two on one from Noy, maybe three on one. Colas out in front for Kellner. He should score! David Kellner, and it's 2-1 Illinois. 14-24 left in the second period. Quick outlets to the offensive zone, and they capitalize. Illinois grabs their first lead of the game. That's a great shot by Kellner there. Got deflected in front, but after his last chance where he took one stick handle too many and got bumped off the puck, he was ready to fire right when he got the puck, put it on net, it went in the net. Say. They exchange some punches, and that's a punch to the face of James McGing. No whistle is there. Three on two. Spinning drive, score! Mike six and just like that, it's 2-2, but McGing was socked. 11.45 left in the second period. This is getting out of hand here. Yeah, that's a missed call. That's egregious. You can't miss a call like that. That was a straight punch to the face. Results in the Illini getting taken out there as many players stopped playing, expecting a call to be made. Bobcats came in and put one in on Barnhart Hart going five hole. Frank won the draw to Jenkins. Now left side, it's Fiella. He's rushed, shot there, score! Jake Fiella with 347 left in the third period. Three to two Ohio and a big goal there. Like we said, if there was going to be another goal in this game, it was going to be greasy, and that one was a shot from the point that seemed to get tipped in front. I don't know if Jake ever saw it. Let's see if the Illini can get back in the game here with 3.47 remaining. Jake Fiella, the captain on senior night, does it for the Bobcats. Still a lot of time here for Illinois, but man, is that a backbreaker coming from the captain, number 17 in green and white. It is McGing. Here's James McGing looking to get any sort of shot through. Here it comes, score! Tie game! James McGing, 219 left in the third period. Threes are wild in Athens. Jimmy McGing getting it done late. After that forearm shiver to the face, I know he wanted that goal. James McGing, what a play, drawing the entire Bobcat attention, coming through to the point and getting that shot through. Low blocker on Jimmy Thomas. It's just Turn out with Cody Black. Some chances here from Ohio. But Thomas Kolaz is going to steal it and keep going. Two on one for Illinois. Kolaz, McGing on his right. Thomas Kolaz, he's in. He shoots out in front. Yeah! The captain is the savior again. Joey Rittendale, Illinois wins. 4-3 over Ohio with 27 seconds left in overtime. What a play by Thomas Kolaz. Joey Rittendale going to the net. Once again, the overtime hero, James McGing on the weak side, drawing the Jimmy Thomas's attention. What a goal. 